Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, it's Thursday for me, Friday morning for you at 11. Not live today. Um, as many of you know, I've been struggling to get out a good live stream. Um, maybe my internet here is not as good as others or where I was before, or perhaps because more people are doing learning online right now in the beautiful state of Michigan, um, that um, that is what's slowing it down. I'm not sure, haven't been able to figure it out, and since I don't know what the problem is, I don't know how to fix the problem. I'll keep working on it. I really want to bring you movement every day at 11 a.m., and so this is the best solution for today. It is going to be a really, really good lesson. I have the baseball knowledge. I have the healthy fit zone activity. And ladies and gentlemen, I'm going to introduce you to one of my good friends. So things that you will need for today, you will need your curl up strip. You will need the ability to work hard. And that's all. We're going to follow along. We're going to have a wonderful episode. Oh, ladies and gentlemen, pause you if you need to, if you need to acquire that curl up strip and the ability to work hard. If not, here's a little music to get us going, a little bit of movement. All right, all right. We're going to get warming up. I'm going to give you a moment to get that curl up strip handy. All right. Let's do some moving. Let's get going. Ooh, you're gonna be excited to meet my friend later. He's a doctor. High knees. Doesn't have to be quick. Beautiful Friday. Wearing my Oakwood Friday shirt. Oh, I miss Oakwood. I know you do too. Warming up on a Friday morning. It's Friday already. These works weeks sure do go fast. And that's a great day. Squats. Went for a bike ride today. Oh, did I go for a bike ride? It was sunny. It was beautiful. 33 miles. Country roads. Get outside, do hard work, it's good for you. Just lean side to side. Arm circles, why? Because arm circles are fun. Faster, smaller, faster, smaller. Bigger, slower. Backwards, bigger, going backwards. Smaller, faster. Some lunges to walk. You don't have to go all the way down. If you do, that's awesome. But if you don't want to for your warm up, that's okay. You can just be stepping big and stepping back. Step big forward, stepping back. Getting those muscles warm, getting the body flowing. Step to the side. Ooh, nice. Forward to the side. Angle, 45 degree angle. It's math, it's movement, it's good. All right, all right, ladies and gentlemen, do you want to meet my friend? I think you do. My friend, my friend, I've never met the man. I've read a lot about him, um, and he's my friend. His name is Dr. Tabata. 
And Dr. Tabata is a man who is very smart. And this very smart man came up with a way of working out that has, <coughs> excuse me, that is shown to have incredible positive effect. And ladies and gentlemen, oh, oh, it hurts. But it hurts so good. And the type of interval that this is has shown to have great effect. And so don't, don't go, er, stop, pause, episode, get out of here. No, hold on, do your best. Your best may not be the full thing. Your best may be to take an extra break here or there, but get back in it and do your best. So how this Tabata interval works, we're gonna do the first one here today with plank. And for a Tabata interval, that is four minutes long, but four minutes, don't think about four minutes. All you have to do is you have to work out for 20 seconds. 20 seconds, you can do that. 20 seconds is so short. So you're gonna work out for 20 seconds. Then you're gonna take a 10 second break. Then you're gonna work out for 20 seconds. And then a 10 second break. You do that eight times, eight 20 seconds. How big of a deal is that? Not a big deal. So we are going to do planks, eight of them, 20 seconds a piece and it's gonna hurt. So if you need more rest, that's okay. If you can do it, if you can get all the way through this, incredible, I love it. So here we go, setting up for our first Tabata drill. I've gotta get my timer ready. It's all about time there. This is interval training. This is big league stuff. This is tough, but I know you can handle it. We're not gonna hurt anybody here. So if you need rest, take a rest. If you can keep at it and you can finish the entire Tabata drill, you're my hero. You're my hero anyways. Here we go. In the ready position like we're going to do push-ups. I'm going to do elbow planks today. I'm going to be down on my elbow. So here we go. I've started doing a plank 20 seconds. And when we rest, we just lay on the floor. This is your first of eight. Easy peasy. It's a good angle for my hair. See that nice little bald spot? It happens. Ooh, 18, 19, and rest. Ah, relax. Whew. Get a 10 second rest. That's so long. Hmm. And we're up. 20 seconds on. It wasn't hard the first time, should be hard the second time, right? Mm, not right. It hurts. Whew. Hold it. Good, strong core. Almost there, almost there, and we're down. If certain things are burning, you can always, this next time, go up on your hands and do a hand plank, or vice versa. You can switch it up. We want success, and success may, oh, we're up, may look different. You might only be able to do it 10 seconds, and then you need a 20 second break. That's fine. Do your best. We're halfway through the next one. I hope you're working hard. And we're down. Ah, rest. Feels so good. 10 seconds starts to feel so fast. Felt long the first time, but ladies and gentlemen, we're up, we're going. This is okay too. If you wanna be like this, this is all right. This is harder for me. And you can't see my beautiful face. Here we go, I'm back here. Halfway through, even more. It's a little late on that call. Core work. It's good work. We're down. We're resting. Ah. Breathe in and breathe out. And we're back at it. Do you like my friend? Some people don't like my friend. I love my friend, Mr. Tabata, Dr. Tabata. Smart man. Rest. Almost missed that one. Whew. We're up. Time's flying. Do we need some music? Here we go. Let's get some pump up music for this last little bit. We're over halfway done. Oh, it's burning. It's burning. And rest. Two more, two more. You can do it. 
If you can't do it all, that's all right. Do the best you can. Do the most you can. Only two more to go, and we're up. Shortest 10 seconds ever. Now the longest 20 seconds ever. You've got it. You're gonna get it. Here we go. 10 more on this one. It's burning. down. Everyone can do this last one. I know you can. I can. 20 more seconds to go. We've got this. Dr. Tabata's got nothing on you. We're going. Let's do it. I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. Let's take a break from the movement, cause that was hard. And let's talk, let's talk baseball, softball. Because you have a quiz today on a Friday. Every Friday you're gonna have a quiz. Even next Friday was supposed to be spring break next week, but who knows, everything's crazy this year. So we're doing coursework next week. It won't be incredibly hard. Your PE requirement will be the same thing. Watch one of the 11 o'clock workouts. Do it, gain the knowledge, and then take your quiz on Friday. So for your quiz today, the things you will need to know is you'll need to know what healthy fit zone activity we're doing next. So you'll need to know that. Then, then you'll need to know about baseball and softball. And so the lesson that I did on Tuesday had you have a laundry basket and you had seven pairs of socks and you were trying to throw those socks in the laundry basket and the laundry basket was your strike zone and so you're gonna have a question about the strike zone and the strike zone in baseball is from the person's the batter's knees to their numbers which for some of us the taller of us and me, I'm short for a, for a grown man, but I'm tall compared to most of you. Um, though that is the laundry basket is about the right size be, to be knees to numbers. So a good strike zone. The strike also has to be thrown over the plate, over home base, in between the batter's knees and their numbers. So you should know that. And then there's some things you need to know about how to get somebody out. So how to get somebody out in the game of baseball or softball. I'm gonna give you three ways that are correct and one way that is false. So you can tag them with the ball before they get to the base. You can tag first base with the ball before they arrive at first base. You can catch the ball after it leaves the bat and before it hits the ground. And the one that is not true that I threw in there just to make sure you listen to me a little bit is a kickball rule, but is not true in baseball, is not true in softball. You can throw the ball at them to get that them out. That one is false. That is not true. Do not throw a baseball or softball at someone for any reason. That would hurt. And so that's what you need to know. And the healthy fit zone thing that we're activity that we're gonna do a little bit, a little bit. That's what you have to know for your quiz that you're taking today. Don't share the answers with anybody, but if you've watched this, you will be successful on that. Don't need to make it too challenging. Just want it to be fun and to make sure to keep you on track during our time away, which has been extended. Ladies and gentlemen, did you hear? Unbelievable. So sad. We're gonna have to come up with something more, right? This isn't enough. We've gotta figure this school year out. It'll be good still. We're gonna have so many, woo, bright sunshine, love the bright, so many meaningful things, even though we won't be able to be together. I love all the emails. I'm gonna be joining some Zoom stuff soon. Um, get involved, be able to see your smiling faces. Uh, here's mine but I want to see yours. All right, we're going to meet my friend again. He's going to say hello. We're going to try something. I don't know if you're going to be able to complete this one. I don't know if I'm going to be able to complete this one. You're going to need a wall for this. We're going to try a Tabata drill with a wall sit. Too hard? Probably. Probably. If we get only two minutes in and you need to stop, stop. If I get two minutes in and I need to stop, I'm going to stop. 
I don't want to hurt myself, but I do want to push myself. So here we go. I'm going to set you right here along. Ooh, the sun shines no good. Here, I'm going to look really tall with this angle. Here we go. Setting the timer. Remember, it is 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off. And off you can lay on the floor or it's probably best just to stand up. Another Tabata drill. Ooh. I've got some friends that are here we go. We're down wall sits. So you should be at a 90 degree angle. Let me readjust that. I'm cheating. Hopefully you're in it. 90 degree angle. Your hands should not touch your legs. You could be Frankenstein out here, or you can have them here. You can put them up here. You want your back to be against. All right, we're on our 10 second rest. Here we go. We're getting ready for another one. Had a little camera technical problem there, but we're back in it. We're back at it. We're down. 90 degrees back against the wall. You get your head against the wall too. 20 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen. I'm shaking. Told you this is gonna be hard. That's two of them. We're up. We've got rest. All right, 10 seconds, ooh, it's burning, it's burning. And we're back down. This is your third one. Ooh, should be touching my legs. Hands out, hands back, hands here. Just don't touch the leg. Find your happy place. Wall sits. This isn't easy. If you can do it for 10 seconds, that's still good. All right, we're down. Ooh, 10 second rest. This is gonna be our fourth one. All right, all right, here we go. 20 more seconds. Feeling that bike ride. Feeling our workout from earlier yesterday. And we're up. Relax, find your calm. Does this hurt? this is too much, you can stop. You're halfway through. If you've got this, keep on going. I missed our start. Did I miss our start? I missed our start. We're back at it. This one will be shorter. Old man got caught talking. And we're up. We're up. second rest shaking it out for some reason this makes my legs feel better i don't know if it's helpful here we go we're back down 20 more seconds 90 degree angle more math it's movement halfway through this one and we're up and we're up two more two more We're back at it. Three, two, one. We're up. All right, last one. You can do this last one. I can do this last one. We've got it. Let's do it. Here we go. We're down 20 seconds. Good wall sit. 90 degree angle. Back is up against the wall. If this is too much, you don't have to, but I think you can. 10 more seconds. Three, two, one. That's time. Oh, that was good. Let's do some stretching. All right, got to find my dealing with the sunshine. My good spot right here. I've got the figure four going. One leg out, other foot is up against the knee. Reach both hands like that, sit and reach. Wait a minute, time out. We're not stretching yet. I got so tired I thought we were there. Not yet. Healthy fit zone. We've been working on it all week. 
Hey, if you've been with us all week, if this is your first video and this is your PE requirement, that's cool. This is part of your test, not to perform well, but to know what it is and to do your best. So we're gonna do some curl ups. If you didn't make a curl up strip yet, that's all right. There's a video that will show you how to do it. Look, you can use your, your cell phone as a curl up strip. It's a little bit bigger, but it could work if you haven't made one yet. If you've already made one, awesome four inch strip okay see the video in the pe playlist for details what our healthy fit zone is i know i have some younger friends that are doing this so i want to make sure that i include them so if you're five your healthy fit zone is two or more if you're six it's two or more if you're seven it's four or more if you're eight it's six or more if you're nine Oh, good friends, it's nine or more. If you're 10, it's 12 or more. If you're 11, it's 15 or more. If you're old, wait, not old. If you're 12, it's 18 or more. Talking about old. If you're an adult male, it's 24 or more. If you're an adult female, it is 18 or more. So here we go, we're doing curl ups. The healthy fit zone. You can get to your healthy fit zone. You can do more. I'm gonna do my best to get to my 24. I'm gonna do 25 again today. Whew, that's 25 twice today, because I did this this morning. Or this is Friday, I, I'm doing this on Thursday. Here we go, ready, begin, curl up. Touch, that's one. Curl up, touch, that's two. Curl up, touch, that's three. Curl up, touch, that's four. Curl up, touch, that's five. Curl up. Ooh, that's six. My feet came almost off the ground almost. Curl up. Touch that seven. Curl up. That's eight. And up. That's nine. Curl up. That's ten. Up. That's eleven. Make sure your head touches the ground each time. Up. That's twelve. Curl up. That's thirteen. Curl up. That's fourteen. Curl up. That's 15, curl up, that's 16, curl up, that's 17, curl up, 18, curl up, 19, curl up, 20, up, 21, up, 22, up, 23, up, 24. Four and up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, 25 curl ups. I hope you made it all the way through. How many can you do? You can always look up Fitness Gram curl up videos. If you want the exact rhythm in the exact video, you can play that and you can watch that and you can practice curl ups anytime you want. If you can reach that healthy fit zone and you're proud of it, send me a video with parent permission of it. I would love to see you be successful at curl ups. We won't get to see that in the gym this year, um, but I'd still love to see you do it. And I know so many of you can reach that healthy fit zone. All right. Now, stretching. I was jumping the gun on that. Figure four, back to it. This leg's straight. This foot is touching my knee. You can do this one or this one, whatever you prefer. Awkward turtle. That's so both the hands reach the same distance. Reach towards that toe. Hold it if you can. If you can hold only your ankle, that works too. Here we go. it up. Change it up. Battle in the sunshine. I love the sunshine. It's not in my eyes. Awkward turtle. Leg is straight. Don't let that knee come off the ground. And reach and hold.
butterfly. What have you guys been reading lately? Have you been reading more things than just your coursework? Our time is so different lately. I've got my son with me pretty much all day, every day. He sleeps less than me, I'm pretty sure. Um, so that's been hard to sit down and read a good book. But man, I hope you have been spending time playing outside, but also using your extra time or your free time that you have within the schedule that your parents have laid out for you to just read and read for fun. I miss that part of life. It'll come back around. I need to spend more of my son's nap times reading. Definitely. Was perfect. All right. I have been notified that my dinner is ready. I'm having risotto. A wonderful life. Um, I hope you have a wonderful weekend. I hope you have had a wonderful week. I know another emotional, another strange, another odd week. Love your parents. Love the people you live with. Do amazing things with them and for them. Be active. Be kind. Be the amazing Oakwood students I know you are. Thank you for being part of this. Thank you for tuning in. I hope to see you soon. I've heard more about Zoom this last week than the rest of my life combined. So let's Zoom. Let's get involved. Let's connect. Thank you and have a wonderful weekend.